Is the American dream failing its people in the realm of healthcare? Why does the most powerful nation in the world struggle to provide basic health services to its citizens? The U.S. healthcare system, a behemoth of complexity, is currently grappling with a crisis. The cost of medical care has skyrocketed, becoming a financial hurdle for many. Even a simple doctor's visit or prescription medication can put a significant dent in the average American's pocket. Accessibility to quality health care is another pressing issue. Many citizens, particularly in rural or underserved areas, find it challenging to access even basic health services, let alone specialized care. Healthcare professionals echo these sentiments. They are on the front lines witnessing firsthand the struggles of a system that often leaves patients and providers alike feeling frustrated and unheard. This crisis isn't just about numbers on a spreadsheet. It's about people, their lives, and their well-being. The state of healthcare in the USA, it seems, is in dire straits, but what is the human cost? Behind every statistic, every policy, every dollar and cent, there is a human story. Let's hear from some of those who've endured the system. In the heartland of America, we meet Sarah, a single mother and full-time worker. She juggles the dual demands of livelihood and life itself. Faced with mounting medical bills due to her son's chronic illness, her story is a testament to the financial strain many Americans endure. It's not just about the access to health care, but the ability to afford it. Traveling north, we find ourselves in the company of Tom, a retired steel worker. His golden years are tarnished by the struggle to receive necessary treatment for a heart condition. His insurance, once a safety net, now seems more like a spider's web, ensnaring him in a tangle of bureaucracy and delays. His tale unmasks the dire need for a more responsive healthcare system. From the bustling streets of the city, we hear the echo of Lisa's story. A young professional, she's at the prime of her life. Yet the specter of untreated mental health issues looms over her. The lack of available resources and the stigma attached to mental health in our society have left her in a lurch. Her narrative is a wake-up call to acknowledge and address the silent crisis of mental health in our healthcare discourse. In the sun-drenched plains of the South, we find James, a farmer grappling with the effects of inadequate rural healthcare. His story is a stark reminder that healthcare isn't just a metropolitan issue, but a nationwide concern. His plight underscores the need to extend quality healthcare to every corner of our country. These stories, these voices, they are the human pulse beneath the cold statistics of our healthcare crisis. Sarah, Tom, Lisa, James, they are not mere anecdotes, but living, breathing reminders of the systemic issues plaguing our healthcare system. These are not isolated incidents, but everyday realities for millions of Americans. Change is not just necessary, it's imperative, but how can we as a society take part in this change? Well, my friends, it starts with us. We have the power to influence the course of healthcare in America. By advocating for healthcare reform, we can help shape policies that ensure no one is left without the care they need. We can support organizations that provide accessible health care, ensuring that even the most vulnerable among us have access to life-saving treatment. We must also raise awareness about the crisis we face. By sharing stories, facts, and figures, we can shed light on the reality of the health care situation in the United States. Let's use our voices, our votes, our time, and our resources to create a healthcare system that works for all, not just the privileged few. Because after all, healthcare is a human right, not a luxury. The future of healthcare in America is in our hands. Stand up, speak out, and make a difference for millions of our fellow citizens.